What's up, YouTube? It's Zap Dogs TCG here, and thanks again for watching our TCG battle video. Today, we're gonna be playing with Alolan Duck Trio. You'll uh, know that I love myself some Alolan decks, uh, seeing as I played Alolan, uh, yeah, Exeggutor throughout the season. Today, we're gonna be playing with Alolan Duck Trio with the Gold Rush. We already visited before uh, this deck, but this time around, it's going to be a whole lot better because we have things like Zip Strike out to get energies in the discard pile. And of course, with Mount Cornet, we can get those energies back immediately. Not only that, we have things like Robombi to get, of course, those energies in the hand from the deck and with cards like energy retrieval and an energy recycler we can just get those uh, discarded energies back in the deck and get them immediately the good news is we're also going to be running Machoke because our uh, Alolan Duck Trio also has uh, 60 HP which means flying flips uh, three times will actually clear our board out completely so that's why we are also going to be running the Machoke to just prevent that and uh, the good news is we can make uh, use of Professor Alm's lecture and uh, yeah it also has 60 HP Alolan Duck Trio so it's also searchable with uh, Professor Alm's lecture so that's why this deck is a little bit better but what does Alolan uh, Duck Trio do? Well, it deals uh, 30 damage for every metal energy in your hand that uh, yeah you can discard. So you can just decide how many energies you want to discard. And let's say you have 6 uh, metal energies in the hand, that's 180 damage. We could add in things like Choice Band to add the numbers, but the most consistent thing is to get yourself some Rebombies. And of course, uh, things like Energy Retrieval to get of course the, the loop going every single turn. So that's the deck that we're going to be playing. And not only that, 180 is a perfect number to just uh, one-shot things like like Blacephalon. Another good thing is that Alola Ninetales seems to be everywhere. That is something we can just easily Guzma because it's weak to metal. So and Gardevoir is also weak to metal. So things might turn out all right. As you know, Substrika just discards your hand, and then you can draw four cards that can just help to just get energies in the discard pile by also uh, drawing into something like an Energy Recycler or maybe Fisherman. Hopefully this deck works out all right. It's going to be kind of a rogue deck but it could actually be kind of a competitive depending on the meta in your area so definitely try out a Lolo Duck Trio uh, I've uh, had so much fun with this deck uh, in the past and today we're gonna be revisiting the deck of course uh, a Lolo Duck Trio is kind of fragile so sometimes you have to get out your Machoke sometimes you also can get out uh, your Zip Strike out so the little Prism Star can evolve into every stage one and we do have a couple of stage ones we have Robombi, Zip Strike out, and of course a Lolo Duck Trio but also the Machoke in certain matchups so Let's see what we are gonna face here. It's going to be very okay. The CGY uh, Nine Tails. The good news is, they're uh, the Nine Tails. Both of them are weak to metal. That means our Alone Duck Trio can shine here. The bad thing is that uh, Alone Nine Tails does snipe a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna have to wait and see how this turns out. Uh, our uh, Diglets do have 50 HP, so that might cause a little bit of trouble. And our Cutie Flies, believe it or not, have 30 HP. And the opponent can even start. So I don't know if uh, we are gonna be able uh, to just pull this off. But the good news is that, of course, our Cutie Fly has free retreat. And uh, okay, we even have an Elm in the opening hand. So things might turn out all right. We even have an Ultra Ball to follow up with that. We have Nest Ball. We have, of course, things like Professor Elm's Lecture to set up Diglets up. So things might turn out alright, and if he gets out his Alolan Ninetales, he's gonna get punished so hard by, of course, our Diglets, uh, our Dectrios, yeah. And Cynthia to open up, so it's not a Professor Alm, so that is good for us. And uh, we don't even have to get our, our Tapu Lele, uh, we only have one copy of that in there. You could also be running things like Shrine to add the damage up, but I think Mount Cornet is the most consistent and best way to go about this. So he's probably gonna be getting out his uh, nine tails soon, which is good for us. The only thing we'll have to do here is get, of course, our things set up. Okay, we have another cutie fly, so that is gonna be uh, cool to get energies into our hand. Let's just smack that down later. Or just get out our uh, Professor Amp Lecture. Let's get out a Diglett, a Diglett, a Duck Trio for later. Maybe a Ditto Prism Star, which can evolve into everything, so that might also be a great strategy. Ditto Prism Star, a Diglett, and... We even have a Nazball to follow up with that, so I think an Ololan Duck Trio might just be the best plan of action here. So let's get this on board. So next turn we do have an Ololan Duck Trio. Definitely gonna be getting that. Uh, we can also get out Tapu Lele here uh, with the Ultra Ball. That could also work out. Oh, I'm just gonna have to wait and see. I'm just doubting here a little bit on what to get. I think I'm just gonna go consistent and just get this on board. We don't need that much energies in the hand. And of course, uh, that is going to work out just fine. We're gonna wait with that uh, Ultra Ball. That could be our Alolan uh, Duck Trio. So let's get this on board. Let's smack them all down. Bam, here they come. Yeah, I think that is fine. Uh, we even have an Ultra Ball. That could be our Tapu Lele. We can get out our Tapu Lele. Let's just 
Sacrifice, I think. One cutie fly, is that the best plan of action? That Ultra Ball can work for a Substrika while we also evolve into Rabombi. I think that's going to be fine. Let's just pass the turn. The bad news is he's gonna be getting two cutie flies here. That is going to be very, very sad. Very, very bad. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we can uh, turn things around if we draw into some uh, lots of energies. We have one Rabombi thanks to the Ditto Prism Star. But there's not a lot we can do here. He also needs to get another energy on board. And he concedes. Okay, that is weird. That is very, very weird. He could have gotten two KOs because of course that silver wind attack of Alola Ninetales. I do think it's called the silver wind attack. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to play another round here because the opponent scooped for no particular reason. He could have knocked out two of the Alolan Ninetales. Maybe both of them are priced or whatever. I don't even know at this point. If they were priced, that could be the case that he scoops. Uh, he could have gotten two KOs, but if we got enough metal energy, we could have got, gotten a KO back. Again, we are facing uh, Fairy, so uh, Alolan Ductrio does have kind of a cool spot in the format right now where uh, he uh, can uh, one-shot things like Guard of War, uh, Alolan Ninetales, so that is kind of cool. Okay. And we have again, eh, that is not the best hand, but he already sees that we're playing Metal Energies and Rabombi, so our strategy is actually a little bit revealed, <laughs> and hopefully the opponent will not be, uh, uh, be slowed down here with his Fairy types, because we want to destroy those Fairy types with our Alolan Duck Trio. Okay, we start with an Alolan Diglett. Uh, as you know, Alolan Diglett has a free attack. You have all sorts of Alolan Diglets. I think there are three in the format right now. And uh, the, this is actually the best one with Call of or Family. Search it out for a basic Pokemon, put it onto your bench. That way you can prevent yourself from being donked, which is awesome. Uh, again, we have an Alolan... We have, yeah, lots of cool stuff here. There is, of course, we have one energy in the hand. We don't need that energy, to be honest. So I just think I'm gonna go for, of course, uh, our, yeah, our Ghetto Prism Star seems to be prized. That is just not cool. I'm gonna be getting an Alolan Ductrio for next turn. I'm gonna get a Cutie Fly as well. And I think, yeah, Blitzel has 70 HP, so we cannot get that out of the deck, unfortunately. Ah, it's too bad that Rubombi also has 70 HP. Could they have like 60 HP? Let me just check what is priced in this game so we don't end up uh, with lots of energies. Okay, there's two energies priced, but we have energy recyclers. And uh, how many Rubombis are in the house right now? Three of them, so that's cool. Let's just get those on board. Bam! Cutie fly and another Alolan Diglett. Okay, that is going to be the end of the move for me. I'm not gonna give an energy because it's not even necessary. Uh, we cannot attack on the first turn, so the only thing we can do here is use Gold Rush for like 30 damage. If we have a Robombi, we can knock this Mudkip out immediately. So we're, okay, another one conceding. So uh, everybody's conceding against uh, uh, a Lolo Duck Trio. I don't know what is going on here, but we already got <laughs> ourselves lots of wins with this deck, even though the opponent is not even trying. So if they are playing Fairy and they don't have like an Elm in the hand and they see like, oh my God, what kind of weird deck is this? Maybe you even can try this out at a league challenge to just uh, try it out small. Uh, nothing, not anything that is uh, too important. So Alolan Duck Trio, if you're expecting lots of uh, Guard of War and uh, Alolan Ninetales, this might actually be kind of a great pick. Okay, who's next? Fighting Psychic Carlos. I don't like the fighting in that deck because uh, if it's Boswell, that can snipe, and uh, I don't like being sniped with this kind of deck. Okay. We have a cutie fly start. I always love starting with cutie fly, but we have a brick hand. No supporter in the hand whatsoever. Uh, we do have a blitzel, so if, if we draw into one ultra ball, we will be set for the game. And also, uh, this cutie fly can actually heal 30 damage of one of your Pokemon. There's also another cutie fly that can just deal 10 damage, which might might be important here. Let's just smack this down. Let's retreat our cutie fly because we want to save that. And we might, yeah, we're not gonna give an energy. We're also not gonna be uh, smacking down that more Mount Cornet anytime soon. So let's just leave it like this. Okay, hope yeah, we just passed the turn. The good thing is we already have our setup. We have like a Cutie Fly, a Ditto, and a, uh, a Blitzel. So we're not even too bad here, but we need, of course, a supporter. Maybe I should add in more supporters. I don't know, this deck is uh, kind of hard. But if we draw into a uh, Professor Elm's Lecture, we immediately get energies, thanks to the evolution of, of course, Rabambi. And uh, we get, of course, our uh, Alolan Duck Trio. Uh, no, not even. We, we can only get out Duck Trio with the Elm, so that is not cool indeed. Okay, Mala Martianadigans. The fighting is, of course, going to be Mars Shadow. Okay, hopefully we don't see any Giratinas because Giratina can actually uh, destroy us pretty much. So it is our turn. Come on, supporter. 
Captain Guzman. That is not a cool supporter here. Well, well, well. We can uh, use the call for family. <sighs> that is something we can do. We can put a basic Pokemon Finder and put it immediately onto the bench. I think I'm gonna go for a low on Diglett at this point to thin out the deck. How many supporters? Three Sentinels in here and three Elms. Okay, I definitely need one of those supporters to just get ourselves rolling. And hopefully that will turn out all right. Bam. And the Diglett has been set up. Maybe uh, another Cutie Fly would have been better, but we already have three energies in the hand. Okay, we only need an Ultra Ball to get ourselves going, to get our Lily out or a Zipstrika. The good news is he is stuck and the active right now. He could be using Guzma or Tapu Lele Cynthia. I don't know what he's gonna play. He uh, used the Lily on his first turn. Two energies in the discard pile already, and it's going to be uh, Cynthia. That means he has a terrible hand. The good news is that is also a GX, so uh, there's already two GXs on board. And if we have a little bit more luck on our side, we can just set up our alone duck trios to get ourselves uh, a rolling here. Another Ditto. Everybody's playing Ditto nowadays. Almighty Evolution evolving into every stage one you possibly want. He also getting rid of Machoke, so he's also playing the Machoke because uh, yeah, Feather Arrows seem to be everywhere nowadays. And uh, it's a very great thing if you can just uh, stop those Feather Arrows from working. Definitely against a deck with 60 HP attackers. Okay, he's getting energies onto his Tapu Lele. For some particular reason, he's retreating and he's going to be smacking for 40. Okay, that is just a weird amount of damage right there. Okay, we have a Rabombi. Uh, we can evolve into a Bombi, that is something we can do to just thin out the deck completely. So, what are we gonna do? We're gonna be uh, using the. Uh, maybe we can use the Guzma here to just leave him stuck in the active again. I think that is a, a great strategy. Bam! We're just gonna be promoting this guy. And we are also gonna be using Honey Gather to just get ourselves lots of energies in the hand. And next turn, we are gonna be blowing up onto that. Um, Necros my GX. So we already have tons of energies in play. We're not gonna smack down our uh, Mount Corner just yet. I don't know even if he runs Stadium Car, so we might as well smack it down for now. And now we're gonna be using the Call for Family again. And we are gonna be getting another QE Fly. Although, if we get an Ultra Ball here, we definitely are gonna be using Zip Striker. So it doesn't even matter if we uh, leave space for Tapu Lele or not. So let's just get this on board. Bam! Okay, now that we are set with our uh, five energies in the hand, the only thing we need to do here is get one Alolan Duck Trio since he does not need any energies to attack. Okay, another Guzma coming up here. He's going for the Ditto Prism Star, which he can knock out with 40 damage, okay? That is very, very cool for us. Because we don't even need that Ditto anymore since we have Cutie Fly and two Alolan Diglets and the uh, Blitzel is already set up as well. So come on, come on, supporter. It is Professor Elm. Now you are going to be seeing the power of the deck. We are going to be using Professor Elm, getting two Alolan Duck Trio, while also getting a Diglett on board. You can also get out a Cutie Fly, but it's not even necessary at this point. Bam, here we get him. So uh, with Elm, you can get your entire evolution out. We can even use the Honey Gather once again to get two energies into our hand. And that's why we're getting so much energies into play. So we're going to evolve that one. We're also going to be evolving the other one. Bam, he could use the uh, flying flip here, but uh, whatever. That way he's only gonna be getting one KO. Discard any number of <laughs> metal energies. Look at her hand, it's gonna be crazy. Okay, gold rush, how many energies do we need? Uh, that's going to be six in total. So we're gonna be using 30 damage, 60 damage, 90 damage, 120 damage, 150 damage, 180 damage. And that's going to be a perfect KO on a Lily here for zero energies as the attack cost. So we're gonna be doing quite fine. Indeed, so 180, we're destroying a top of Lele here. That is awesome. So we get two prize cards for that, and it's going to be another Alolan Duck Trio and a Diglett. The good news is we have the Honey Gather, the bat, and we have the Mount Cornet, so we can at least get ourselves up to five energies once again. That means we only need to top deck an Ultra Ball, a Supporter, or a Rabombi in order to get an extra energy into play. Okay, Mount Cornet is gone. Maybe we should have kept that in the hand as uh, suggested, but I did think there's going to be Gas Can with uh, not Field Blowers. Ah, I didn't think he was running Stadium Card, so that's why I just went for the non corner but should have waited here. Life lesson learned, right? We already got two prize cards, he's gonna be, be getting a prize card, I think, from the Lone Duck Trio. 
he only ha or only has one energy on his Necrozma and he has two Malamar so I don't even know if he can just get the KO here. Is he gonna scoop again? I don't know. All the opponents are scooping now. Okay, Giratina. Oh, I don't like to see that. Our Duck Trio is not safe at all. Oh yeah, and Cutie Fly is also be getting uh, lots of damage. Another Giratina will actually be very bad for us. Okay, he can retreat. He has three Malamars and he's gonna be coming with his Giratina. The good news is with Giratina we only need... Actually, we do need five, five energies in total. Oof. That's not good news to just get one prize card. Okay, okay, but you did, you did saw that this deck does have a little bit of potential. Okay. We're gonna be promoting the Cutie Fly, which has free retreat, so he's gonna be using the Shadowy Impact. 130, and he's gonna be putting 4 damage onto a uh, NK for some particular reason. Okay. Hopefully we draw into some good resources. We need energy recycler or something. We have, yeah, this is the perfect thing I wanted actually. Let's just evolve this one. Get Diglett on board. And we are gonna be, we could attach it, but that's not even good actually. Let's use the Zipstrika here and we're just gonna get rid of that energy that we don't want. And with Sprint, hopefully we draw into a supporter that will get us lots of energies like Fisherman. Oh, energy recycler while also getting, yeah, the energy cycle is actually quite good. With this, we get four energy, that's not enough. So maybe a Cynthia, if we get an energy recycler together with, uh, with actually, oh, energy recycler and two energy, that is very, very good, and a Robombi as well. Oh boy, this is going to be hurting a lot for the opponent. Let's ret retreat into the one with 50 HP uh, damage on it. Then we're gonna be evolving to this Robombi and we're gonna be using the power of energy recycler to just get all those energies back in the deck. Boom, there they go. They are being shuffled and now we just can get, get all of them out. Da, da, da. Two of them in the deck. Going into the hand. We're gonna be using it again. Otherwise we don't have enough energies. And next turn we have a Fisherman. So that is going to be perfect. There's also one energy left in the deck which is going to be working out with the math entirely. Okay, Gold Rush, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150. Unfortunately, we had to dish out 150 here because the Giratina does have 130 HP. The bad news is he can come back from the discard pile. The good news is, is that he can only snipe damage onto the bench. That means if he has a Guzma, he might get knock out our alone Duck Trio while also knocking out something else. I wonder if that's going to be the case. He already promotes something without energies. Maybe he has an energy in the hand and uh, with the escape board he can retreat. I don't know what his plan is, but if he gets out Giratina, I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, Distortion Door. The good news is our Alolan Duck Trio is safe, so he should have used Guzma first, but that didn't happen. He's targeting down the Rubombis here, which is kind of logical. We have an energy in the hand, and with Fisherman we can get four back. That means if we draw into something, like, uh, let's say an energy recycler once again. That is going to be perfect to use Rabombi, the power of Rabombi. Okay, Malamar is doing its thing. And uh, Giratina is about to show up once again. So this is very annoying. He's using those uh, Giratinas turn after turn after turn. So, oh, one prize attackers. He's got to be putting 40 damage onto himself. The good news is, we have Guzma in the deck, so uh, we still have one left in the deck. That means we can just get things going here. So let's get our alone duck trio set up. We even have the sprint to be working with if we want to, but uh, that's, a, that's not even necessary at this point. Let's just use the fisherman here. Getting four energies immediately from the discard into our hand. Uh, we're also gonna be using the honey gather, getting two more that means there's still one energy left which we can definitely get out here a rescue stretcher could be nice there's a uh, yeah there's still more rescue stretchers left so let's just use the rescue stretcher to just get our at least an attacker going for next turn the alone duck trio is back for more action and that giratina just has to uh go down we can use sprint but uh, in this situation it's not even necessary at all maybe we should leave one energy left in deck but we have Cynthia to shuffle so we might as well get it and draw into or maybe our Guzma 
which is still left in the deck. If we have Guzma, this is going to be game, so we even have Tapu Lele. If we draw into Ultra Balls, which are still left in the deck, we also win. It's gonna be fantastic. So, uh, Honey Gather, the connection with the internet is going a little bit slow, but uh, we are getting that energy from the deck. And now we have the Gold Rush. So, what do we need to do? 30, 60, 90, 120, 150. Bam! Get out of here, Kiratina. You're always in our way. The only thing we need is an Ultra Ball to finish this game. I think. Four energy. Oh, we even need an energy recycler now that I think about it. Okay, Ultra Ball. That is going to be our Tapu Lele. Who can use Sprint? I don't know. I don't know how we are going to be able to fix this. Eight energies, four in the hand. That means we have no energies left in the deck. We only have four uh, remaining. Giratina will come back. I wonder how this is going to go. I wonder. He still needs to take three more prize cards. We only need to take two more prize cards. So in prize race wise, we are doing very good. We can use Sprint. Hopefully draw into Energy Recycler, that way we can get... There's even Energy Retrieval left as well. Oh, we can use Ultra Ball for the Tapu Lele for the Fisherman. That is also an option, depending on what he's going to uh, go for, for attacking. Oh, he's going to go with Malamar? Is Malamar going to attack here? Malamar is going to attack here. Oh, so that is actually really funny. Guzma onto Rabombi? Okay, he's going to kill a Rabon. Oh, Marsh Shadow. Oh, that is a very nasty Marsh Shadow here at the late game here. Oh, we only have one Rabombi, but we have Ultra Ball to get a... Uh, oh, this is very, very scary now that I think about it. We don't have any Alolan Diglets left. Not that it matters too much here. We have an Ultra Ball for a Tapu Lele. We have an Energy Retrieval. We have four energy left in the deck, so this Malamar should not be a problem whatsoever. So let's just get this going really quickly. Uh, we even have an energy in the hand. So the thing I am going to do is leave an Ultra Ball for our Tapu Lele mechanic. So we can use a uh, target that... Uh, that Mar Shadow or whatever, it only has like 70, whatever. Okay, the thing we need to do here is use uh, the uh, Honey Gather. Do we use Honey Gather? I think so. We even have Energy Retrieval for next turn. Let's get two energies. We're gonna keep the Energy Retrieval as a little surprise. We could use Energy Recycle System to just shuffle lots of them in the deck. That is actually not a bad idea, now that I think about it. Yeah, let's just shuffle all of them back in. Bam! Five back in the deck. We have 3, that means 90 damage. We have an Energy Recycler. We could also use Sprint here, but I think I'm just fine with that Ultra Ball in hand so we can target down the Marsh Shadow later. So, we have Gold Rush. That means we are going to be able to dish out 60, which is enough, and that uh, Mar Malamar is going down. Okay, the good news is we have an Ultra Ball, we have Sprint, uh, so that means we can actually... Oh, we have a Rescue Stretcher, we can target down. If he can come with his... Uh, Dawn Wings GX, that is something he can do to just be invulnerable or actually invincible for one turn. But we have the Ultra Ball, he's definitely going to be doing that. I think that is the only logical solution here. The good news is we already got this game because we have one space open, there's Tapu Lele. Okay, Dawn Wings come, join the party, man. Dawn Wings is going to be using the Moon's Eclipse GX and that is going to make himself invincible. Very great to just leave that for the end phase of the game. We have, however, two Guzma. There's still one left in the deck. We have Tapu Lele, so that's going to be game here. We have Energy Retrieval, so the thing we do is draw, draw a card. We have, we even have Rabombi to just work with. All right, come on, uh, Mr. Donwings. Throw your Sun Moon's Eclipse GX at our Alolan Duck Trio and knock it out while you can. Okay, we need to be clever. Just always promote your free retreat cutie fly. That is the best plan of action. And now we have all options available to us. We even have sprint if we don't draw into something we want. But it's not going to be necessary in this situation. So what do we want? Oh, we have two Rabombis. That is very fun. So I am going to be... How many energies left in the deck? I actually used uh, the energy recycler in uh, previous turn. So we can actually use this. Ultra Ball. Get rid of those two cards. Get our Chapu Lele on board. Tapu Lele. Where are you at? Where are you at? Up next, we are going to be using the Tapu Lele to get ourselves the Guzma. <laughs> He's very, very scared right now. 
Oh, he's already saying well played. So we are gonna be targeting down. Actually, now that I think about it, we can retreat. No, we don't have to retreat here. Two energies, two energies, two energies. So we can even one shot. We can even one shot the the uh, the, the the GX one. So look at this, look at this strategy. It's gonna be huge. So let's get this on board. Let's use energy retrieval. Get two energies. And then two Rubambis will make sure that we can get the KO here. Look at this, we even uh, no, one-shot another GX. I was actually uh, about to one-shot the Marshadow, but as you see, this goes very well with the prize race. So look at this, one-shotting GX it has never been so easy for a zero attachment. So here we have all of our energies. And now we're going to be saying, well played. It was a very fun game, but uh, the uh, Alolan forms actually take over. I just love the Alolan forms so much. Had been playing lots with Alolan eggs, got 150 championship points with that deck alone. And now we're playing like Alolan Duck Trio, just for the memes of it. And it actually works out. So uh, let me know what you think about Alolan Duck Trio in the comment section below. Be sure to mouse the like button and subscribe for more Pokemon TCG content. Don't sleep on this deck, it's very good. So uh, anyhow, have a fantastic rest of your day and I will be seeing you guys tomorrow. Peace out.